Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick video and show you how you can remove and replace the thermostat on this 1997 Honda Accord with the 2.2 liter VTEC engine. But this procedure should be similar to all Honda made cars that come with a 4 cylinder engine, okay? Okay, first step is going to be to drain your coolant. You can do this by unscrewing this valve that's in the middle of your radiator and is accessible through this hole that's on your uh, splash shield underneath your vehicle. You don't even have to raise the car for this. You can just reach in there from underneath and twist this off and uh, drain the coolant, okay? And depending on how tight this is on, you might need a small pair of needle nose pliers to twist it off, okay? Okay, so the thermostat on these engines is located right here. This is your thermostat housing, connects to your uh, lower radiator hose. And there's a couple of bolts that hold it in, but in order to get access to them and take them out, you need to remove this uh, air intake tube. So that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is to first remove this plastic tube. Just pull on it and it will come loose. Ours is already pretty loose. Just slide it out. Next, in order to, to loosen this top portion of this uh, air filter housing, we're gonna undo these three bolts that are on the sides and they're eight millimeter, I believe. And after all, these, all three bolts are completely loosened, we just pull up on this. Okay, so after loosening the air filter housing, you want to get this, uh, you want to remove this one bolt because this piece is also coming out with our uh, air tube, okay? And this is going to require a 10 millimeter socket. Okay, what we're going to do next is to remove this air tube that comes from our uh, PCV valve. There we go. Save this uh, clamp, okay? What you want to do next is to disconnect this vacuum line. This also attaches to your air tube, so we're going to be, it's coming, it's coming out with your air tube, okay? And an easy way to do this is just to get a pair of needle nose pliers and twist it slightly and then pull on it and it will come out, okay? Okay, next we'll undo this screw that's holding this clamp in and then remove this air tube from the throttle body side, okay? Okay, let's see if we can get this out of here now. Just make sure there's no other tubes or wires still attached to this and actually, Go ahead and first get this part snapped out of here. There we go. So there's an electrical connector on this piece here. So I want to go ahead and remove that. This guy right here. Whoops, there's another small vacuum line here that you need to disconnect as well. Okay, so I just thought to give you guys a better shot. Here's a connector you need to remove. And this is the vacuum light you need to remove. I already twisted and loosened this, so hopefully we'll be able to pull it out. There we go. All right, now we can get this out of here. Okay, next we'll remove this connector. That's for your uh, coolant temperature sensor. There we go. Next we'll remove this top 10 millimeter bolt. There we go. And next this lower one. This bolt was actually just to hold this bracket and there's another, the thermostat housing bolt is just underneath it where my, uh, where my finger is, okay? So we're gonna remove that next. Okay, now all that's left to do is just pull on this housing and there's still gonna be cooling coming out so you wanna make sure you got your catch mat underneath there ready. And here's a look at our thermostat. Before we take it out though, just make a note of where this valve is, okay? I'll show it to you when I take it out. Might need a screwdriver for this, maybe not. Again, have your catch pan ready. Here's what I was talking about. You wanna make a note of where that's positioned before you remove your thermostat, okay? Okay, so installation is gonna be pretty much the reverse of removal. Just make sure you properly bleed all the air out of the system. I'm actually gonna do a separate video on how to bleed your cooling system. Uh, and it's uh, especially uh, crucial on these Hondas because if you don't bleed the air, you're gonna have some uh, idling problem your fluctuating idle and whatnot. So I really suggest you watch that video too. I'll put a link to that video in the description box for this video. Okay, so yeah, I hope this video helps people out there. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more like it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.